What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails Through Daybreak. Last time, we were still continuing on with our first day back since we were in Langport. And we're down to our last objective for the afternoon, which is taking out a monster. Agnes couldn't come with us because something came up with a family matter. And we could tell it was Ren on the other line. Um, but yeah, we still got a little bit to go before we get to the wanted monster, so we'll handle that. And then... Obviously, whatever is going to happen next will happen, which most likely, uh, nighttime activities. Spiders. This will be a good XP bonus. Alright, not bad. Not that I use arts as much as I probably should. Obviously, if you're playing on a higher difficulty, you need them a lot more. If you're just playing on, like, normal or easy, you really can get by with just spamming crafts. You couldn't do that in the Sky games, though. Iglis Luana. Launa. It ate Van and spit him back up. Um. 
Another zero crap or a zero art. That is something they do add in the next game. This is a gameplay spoiler, so not really the story one. There are, in uh, Daybreak 2, they do add something called Zero Crafts. I think some previous games have had it too, but they like, it like, comes back and then disappears again. That's how you do it. You're at an intermediate level in your Gekka School skills, yeah? For someone whose main focus is being an ass, you can actually back up your smack talk when you want to. Not to mention, it's pretty neat how your fighting style has a dance rhythm to it. Your skills are a little shaky in places, but you did great this time. Get off your high horse, small fry. Put your arts to actual use, then we can talk. And those shards, or whatever you call them. Uh, <laughs> there's room for improvement there, for sure. That's you, girl. Knock it off, you two. At least you can compensate for each other's weaknesses. Counts for a lot, believe it or not. I'd say at this point, we're pretty well, we're pretty well balanced during combat. True, between the two of you up front and me in mid-range, we got offensive side pretty covered. Throw in Agnes' support arts so and we can handle just about any fight we get in. Eh, I guess it's true. We're coming along as a team. But that alone isn't going to be enough to take them down. No argument there. I won't let myself fall behind. Promise. Thanks for always giving it to me straight, Aaron. I appreciate the honesty. Don't sweat it. We all just want to be a well-oiled machine at the end of the day. But Maris is we're done with this pain in the ass job. Now let's make like a palm and... What the? Who are they? I see a handful of them. They look like civilians. Uh, who knows? I know the Rangers are supposed to be changing shifts, but this doesn't look like what's going on. <laughs> Can we, like, teleport back up? We can. What is this? Yes, this location is perfect. Exactly how I imagined it. Oh, he's a director. All good over to go over there, Nina? That's that movie star. You worry too much. We schedule an appointment ahead of time. It's all good. Besides, you're so in demand right now. If I let this opportunity pass, they'd have my hide. Now, the weather's looking a little suspect, so let's film what we came here for while we still can. 
All set, sir. Good. Positions, people. All right, Nina. Let's start with 17-2 in. Ah! Well, why are there monsters here? Ah, get away from me. Get away. This is why the park was closed. Can't have this famous movie star getting hurt. Oh man, there is a lot of them. Work for me. Whoa! They're amazing. These losers might have brought the whole pack, but honestly, that frog we fought was way worse. Yeah, nothing to it. We can take them all. Ah! Crap reinforcements. Freaking damn. I don't know if I can make it. Fee! Jumping in. Nanimunda? Massacre of Shingoto. Cotia Magasta. Sankus. Konomama Semetsu. Yokida. Shiruhido. He knows her. We got Fee in the group. She actually is playable for this fight, which is nice. Look at her! We, but we haven't had her in a single game, so it hasn't been that long. But obviously, that was a year and a half ago. She's obviously gotten much older. She's level 32. Ew, you alright? Hardly broke a sweat. Looks like your friends are fine too. Nice, guess that's a wrap. Target's neutralized. Are you guys okay? Yes, I wasn't sure we would make it. That was sensational. Thank you so much. You're all heroes. Just who are you people? Hey, everything okay over there? Well, glad that little surprise is behind us. You said it. Relax, it's okay, really. You don't have to keep repeating yourself. We got a nice little payout from your director friend there. As far as I'm concerned, that's all the thanks I need. Are you sure it's okay? Absolutely, I never imagined we would be attacked by monsters. If anything happened to Nina or the staff, it would be a major loss for my new project. No, the entire film industry, even. Ugh, I feel so awful about this. If I'd stayed on top of things better, none of this would have happened. I guess in the chaos of the sudden closure of the park, nobody remembered to get in touch with you. Ah, uh, water under the bridge. It all turned out fine in the end. Anyway, you Arkwright solution people were incredible back there. What can I do to convince you all to come work for me as stunt doubles or extras on my next project? Oh boy, you sure focus on the important things quick. Anyway, you guys work for United Star, yeah? United Star? That's a pretty big name movie studio. Which, hold on, Nina is in... <laughs> Nina Fenley. Nina Fenley. Dorokuenga no joyu was steamus. Kakedashi no jacu hai mono deskedo. Kazanji mitai de ureshides. Well, a real actress. You get to be in front of the camera, that's so cool. 
newbie my ass, you're pretty damn popular these days. You're like the number one Easterner in the film biz. Hell, I'd say Miss Fenley here is one of the most up-and-coming actresses of her generation, period. I've seen a handful of your flicks, and they've all been worth the watch. <laughs> you must mean Judith Lannister. Forgot you two are assigned with the same agency. I remember that name, isn't that? Uh-huh. What's up with you two? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Let's not forget about our bold bracer friend who jumped into the fray either. So impressive at such a young age. And a, and a real catch between you and Beauty's Blade. The guild's not doing bad for itself these days. <laughs> Yeah, so, some people would still would have gotten hurt if she didn't show up. Look at her with a little beret. I didn't realize you were from the Empire. Thanks again for all your help. Nah, your timing was great. In our second, we wouldn't have made it in time. I can see why people have been talking about you for ages, Silphid. <laughs> Silphid, it really is her. Fun size got some killer moves, I'll give her that. Right, so this is gonna be, you know, great for Fairy because obviously Aida was from Zephyr as well. Sure you don't need a ride back to the capital, I'm more than happy to take you back. It's fine, I came here by car anyway. My friends are coming back to pick me up. In the meantime, I'm going to double check to make sure there's nothing else nasty lurking around. Are you really going to be okay? It's pretty dangerous all by yourself, though maybe not for you. Yeah, I'll be okay. I've handled more than my fair share over the years. Ain't that the truth. At least as many as your boss here. High praise coming from you. I'm guessing Elaine and the Immovable have, have talked to you about me. Yeah, a little bit. Sin says you like to act like a bad boy, but that deep down you're an old soft you'll just take on about anybody's request. Jeez, V. Looks like I have a need to have a chat with a certain walking slab of muscle later. Well, where's the lie? Dude's got your number. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you guys go now. We can save the chat for another day. I'd leave soon if I were you. It's about to get dark. It sounds like we got rain on the way. Thanks for the tip. Catch you later, Silphid. I mean, Clausel. Right. Catch you later, Spriggan. And you guys, too. Bye, Fee. Good to see you again. Fee's sixth game in a row here, by the way. Considering she was in all four Cold Steel, she was in Reverie, and now she's in Daybreak. What is she thinking about? It's a marriage ball, Fry. It's about that bracer girl we just met? えっと、その多分共通の知り合いがいると思うんですけど。なんだかうまく話せませんでした。ずっと聞いてて、いつか会ってみたいと思ってたんですけど。You'll get more chances. Use the time till then to get your feelings in order. Nice pep talk, Pops. Not that I have any clue what you guys are talking about, though. Oh, a little Aaron feeling left out? Hell no.
You sure know how to stay busy while on the job, don't you? We ran up, down, all around the city, and we even headed to its outskirts. Is that what every day is going to be like? Nah, we usually have more free time. But we'll have busy days like this every now and then. What, you afraid of a little elbow grease? As if. I'm never opposed to getting my hands dirty as long as the work's not boring. And today's jobs definitely weren't that. Good, because there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> I almost forgot. You mind if we drop by the roastery in the 9th district? Paulette asked if I could get some coffee beans while we were out. Got it. We can make a quick stop. Damn it, small fry. Way to make this trip longer than it needs to be. Huh? It's raining. And there goes the paint job. On their way back, they stopped to purchase some coffee beans at, from a roastery near the market in the 9th district. And by the time they reach Old Town, the rain was coming down even more heavily. Huh. Looks like she finished whatever she needed to deal with. Can't believe she actually waited here. Starch straight laces, I swear. Why didn't she wait inside? Welcome back, everyone. How did things go at the park? It was no problem at all. Something up, you look oddly tired. I do? I can't imagine why. I really can't apologize enough for walking off like that during work hours, though I... Oh boy, it's her classmate. Um, who's this run? What are you doing here, Albert? Ah, this a classmate of yours? Should have put two and two together when I saw the uniform. He your boyfriend or something? Wait, is he? No, he's just a classmate I've known for a long... Albert doesn't even have a last name. What? Huh? Albert, what are you saying? I don't know about the first part, but the second part's kind of true. Now hold on, you've got Van all wrong. Slow your roll there, kiddo. This is about when she got back real late a while ago, right? Guess that's what made you start worrying about her, huh? Especially now that she's been getting calls from home. She's getting calls from home. Anyone can connect the dots when the clues are this obvious. How naive can you get? He seems like a nice guy to me. Albert. すまない。だけど僕は。あ、やっぱりここに来てた。もう。はい、ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン。ブレン
Odette, please, you're being very rude. <laughs> Damn, no off button on this girl, huh? <laughs> いきなり来て騒がしくしてごめんなさい。私たちアラミス高等学校で生徒会をやっているの。アニエスもショムとしてずっと一緒にやってきた仲間だね。うちの会計君も心配でたまらなくなっちゃったみたい。That's no, fine. Can't blame the kid for being worried. But her wants have come first and foremost so far. I plan keeping it that way. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you could do a good job of that too with your psych you're hiding. ほら、アルベール君。彼女はまだ用事があるみたい。私たちはこれで失礼するわよ。待ってください、先輩。僕はまだ。アルベール君。頼んでおいた例の予算割り当てはどうなってるの？当然終わらせてから来たのよね。そ、それは。アニエスは面倒な購入申請をとっくに終わらせてくれてるわよ。まずは自
ニアスお前に望むのは二つ私を煩わせないことそして母さんに恥じない行動を心がけることそれが守れるならば行動の制限はしない困ったことがあれば彼らに言いなさい大抵は答えるだろうわざわざバイトをする手間も省けると思うがね In short, it's not going to be a problem for me to keep working as I've been doing. This should be the last time I have to run off like that, too. Agnes. Hmm. Well, it ain't up to me to poke my nose into other people's family business. But it sounded to, sounds to me like he trusts you, and that's worth something. It's up to you what you want to do with the Genesis or whether you want this job to begin with. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely right. Either way, I'm happy to keep working with you all. Yeah, we're happy to have you too. Try not to fall behind, though. She's been doing this longer than you have. But I'm with Fairy on this one. Just try to do something about that friend of yours. We can't have him barging in half the damn time in the future. I'll do my best to clear up his misunderstandings, or barring that, at least get him to promise to leave us alone. Yeah, you tell him the truth, he'd lose his shit. Hmm, so that's an example of ends justifying the means, huh? Now I get it. I mean, it is, but try not to learn any life lessons from it. Wait, this is... It's Dingo. Hey, not often I get a call from you. You got work or something? We just wrapped up a job here, so... We're free if you want to talk it out. ちょっとしたつてからお前たちへの仲介を頼まれてな。事務所の端末番号を教えた。受けるかどうかは話して決めてくれ。Oh, this is gonna be about our next job. Oh, well, all right, got it. Sounds like it was that tabloid geek. Guy has nothing on me, but he's got the looks. I'm like a certain crusty old fart I know. You want to take this outside, brat? I think Van's pretty good looking, though. <laughs> I think he'd cry with joy if he heard you say that. Huh? There it is already. <sighs> Nina again? No way. For real? Isn't that... Okay, when Dingo told me I had a client, I never dreamed it'd be you. So because of that chance encounter, she has a job for us. Alright, see you at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Of course, I'll make sure to tell everyone that I'm going off somewhere this time too. Well, good night everyone. So I figured Fairy's coming, but what about you? I'm down, like I could say no after hearing all that. I'm totally coming too. <sighs> Not that I can blame you, that story would have gotten anyone's interest. Guess that means we're all going to Tharbad. A film festival? One's held every year in the city of Messeldom to the north. Though I'd heard this year was canceled because about two months back, that thanks to a terrorist threat. The one in Messeldom certainly was, but this is something else. It's a new event taking place for the first time this year, backed by the Principality of Elsheim in the Central East. It's going to be called the Tharbad Film Festival, and it's sponsored by Vegas Films. Oh right, I remember hearing about that now that you mention it. Vegas is a film distributor that's had a bunch of big hits lately, right? All directed by some freak named Gotti. Ooh, Golden Globe was one of those, right? That's right, they're still a relatively new company, but at their current rate, they'll be a major studio before much longer. The director prioritizes entertainment value above all else. His films can, films can be a bit um, extreme in their content. You want extreme? Try watching the director's cut. Now that was spicy. I can't, I'm still 16. What's a director's cut? Vegas films wouldn't be where they are without Salvatore Gotti. 
No one makes cinema the way he does. I'm guessing the whole thing's mostly an excuse to give his company and their releases most of the awards. Not at all. Gotti's determined to make the judging process completely fair and impartial. Most of the nominated films are mass market, but a wide variety of directors, actors, and actresses are invited. I am one of those actresses, as is the other client for this request. I see. So that's the context behind this threatening letter that showed up at your agency. Indeed, it reads like this. Decline to participate in the Tharbad Film Festival or tragedy will befall you. The same letter was sent to other companies connected to ours too. We can't rule out the possibility it's just an elaborate prank, but we're still concerned. You definitely can't ignore it when another film festival has already been canceled because of a terrorist threat. Through the culprit, though the culprit could have just sent these things because he know you'd feel that way. Yes, my agency has been trying to persuade me not to attend because of the danger involved. But I'm still a relatively inexperienced actor, so I think the festival could be a valuable opportunity. The other client for this job feels the same way, and that was what would inspire me to look for potential help. And that's when you chanced on us, huh? Heh, <laughs> you're a lot gutsier than you look. When I met you all earlier today, it reminded me of some rumors I'd heard about you in the industry. And since I already knew Dingo from when he previously helped with some trouble in my agency, I asked him for your number. Well, there's your reasoning for getting us. That makes sense. Bracers have always struck me as prioritizing their code above all else and avoiding anything remotely illegal. Yep, bracers are heroes of justice first and foremost. If you need moral flexibility, they ain't your guys. Dingo's brought me showbiz-related jobs in the past, so this wouldn't be my first time doing one. Will be my first time with one this big, though. Hope you know this ain't gonna come cheap. Huh? Three whole days. Wow, you can afford that? Makes sense a rising star would be filthy rich. Now you've got me curious about who this other client is. Yeah, this is going to be longer than our visit to Langport, even what to do. Damn. Oh, wait. Oh, don't sweat it. Anyway, this is a really big ass out of the blue, so we'll discuss it and call you back. Usually we prefer a little more heads up on tall orders like this. Getting everything ready on our end to arrive in Tharbad in time for the day after tomorrow ain't going to be easy. <laughs> Oh no, here we go. His weakness. Oh, no. Oh, tell me more, just for reference. I guarantee you I guarantee you Dingo gave her this idea okay I've heard enough I'll call you with our decision tomorrow I suspect it'll be one that'll make us both happy I, I called it. I didn't even remember that she said that. I was just like, there's no way she would just know to do that out of the blue. Bye, Nina. 
You are such a damn pushover. But hell, I've never been to Tharbad before, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. Well, I've been there before, so I may be able to help us get around a little. I don't mind you guys coming, just make sure you take care of everything you gotta do here first. I'm sure you got a lot of schoolwork to do, Fairy Duck. And you gotta get your license renewed, right? Oh, you're right, if nothing else, I gotta get my math homework done. I know about the license, but man, it's a pain. Can't I just go without one for a few days? Like hell you can. I assume that's if Aaron he ever needs to be the one to do the driving. I can't believe it lit up right at that moment. Was it a coincidence? Nah, like hell it was. Time for, oh, we get a little rainy nighttime activity. The city's always got a nice ambience to it when it's raining, but something smells a bit off. This is a good time as any to go sniffing around before we head to the desert, I guess. Those girls trying to stay out of the rain. It's kind of calming. All right, so what do we have? Uh... Oh, you can have a night with Fee or a night with Aaron. I think we're definitely going to do the Fee one. Is there any side jobs? We might get the other point after the uh, the side job. But obviously we're going to be walking around next time. So look forward to that. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for our new channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.